Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Another video today, washing the car, so it's going to be a long one. So we'll start with what not to bring to Thailand. So, okay, here we go, washing the car. So what not to bring to Thailand? First of all, and I think the most important thing is, do not bring a negative attitude to Thailand. What do I mean by a negative attitude? Well, somebody sometimes is a negative person and Thailand is Thailand and it's totally different to where you live from and people can have a, a negative attitude about living here in Thailand. Depends on what they've been told and what they've heard. And, um, but if you start off with a negative attitude here in Thailand, it's just going to get worse and worse. It isn't utopia, it isn't the perfect place to live, but for me, there's a lot more positive side than negative side with regard to living in Thailand. Which brings me on to the second thing. Don't bring to Thailand. Don't bring your Western ways to Thailand. I was guilty of it myself when I first came. I think everybody that comes here and everybody will be able to think of the, of the same story I'm about to say is that when you've lived here a while and you see new people that come here, you hear, oh, in America we do this, in America we do that, in England we do this, in Australians, oh, in Australia we do this and we wouldn't do this wouldn't get away with this in but this is Thailand I don't say it anymore now because this is Thailand and because I've lived here for more than 10 years now you, you just get used to the ways on how it works here in Thailand but don't bring your western ways to Thailand and that's all to do with driving with the paperwork with the admin there are many things that people complain about from Westerners about living here in Thailand and I think to myself for those people who carry on whinge in the morning who've lived here for a, a number of years if you don't like it nobody's forcing you to stay and all the whinge in the morning isn't going to change the Thai government and say we're going to do this because the Westerners want this they will say if you don't like it go home and I would say exactly the same if you don't like it go home so don't bring your western ways here to Thailand. Okay, what else is there? Oh, yeah, next one. Majority of guys that come here have suffered uh, maybe divorce or losing a business. And, you know, they've sort of got an axe to grind against like women or other people. So don't bring your baggage here. Don't bring your dirty washing here. Don't bring your problems here. Look at Thailand as, as a new start. If you bring your baggage, your emotional baggage with you, whether it's been divorce or women or getting cheated, whatever it is, you're gonna have that on your mind all the time. So I would suggest bring a new attitude here when you come. Don't bring your negative ways don't bring your baggage with you. Leave that at home. Deal with that at home. Because if you bring that over here, it isn't going to be any good for you. You're going to have to get over that one. Okay, don't bring... For those, This is for those people who are going to be moving here full time. Now, it's only a suggestion. I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't do this. Um, it's up to the people. It's up to the people who move here, what you want to bring, what you don't want to bring. But I can only go by experience as to what I've seen other people do and the mistakes that they do. So people who want to move here might bring all of their furniture with them, lock, stock, barrel, get a container, bring everything over here and uh, thinking they're going to save money because they don't have to buy all the things here in Thailand. And some of the people that have done that have got a shock because sometimes on various items, 
There is a, a time limit where you can bring stuff over here and not have to pay duty. But I think it is anything more than six months and you have to pay duty on the things that you bring over to Thailand. So there's a lot of people going to collect their possessions because it's arrived at, at Bangkok and then the duty people say, oh, you have to pay this, you have to pay that duty. So that can cost, well, let's face it, they can charge whatever they want because do you want your stuff or don't you want your stuff? And obviously the majority of people want their possessions and they'll have to pay the duty to get their stuff out of storage or to get the container released from the port. So that can be expensive. So again, do you really need all of that stuff? There's a, there's a lady that I know that's just moved back to Spain now and she had all sorts of stuff brought over here from England and one of the things that I laugh about and I giggle about because when she moved over from England to here and she was like an overweight lady as well she bought a wee fit to do some exercise it never came out the box and she was here for about seven years and then she moved back to well she moved to Spain so she hired another container and bought the transportation cost to to, um, to Spain and I remembered helping to pack and there's this unopened Wii Fit box with a Wii Fit device in there never seen the light of day in the time that she lived in Thailand and there she was, she's transporting it to Spain. <laughs> so have a serious look at the things that you want to, to bring with you. Because at the end of the day, it costs you a lot of money to bring things over here. And let's face it, you can get everything over here. We have indexes, we have big shopping malls, IKEA plenty of furniture places and the furniture actually I think is reasonably priced over here everything's reasonably priced so a serious think about not bringing everything of your possessions um, CDs things like that there's, there's no need to I mean music now is online so you can you can get everything without transporting certain things sentimental value stuff i agree you can't replace them but furniture things like that have a serious think about it and tools tools i've had many people ask me about is it worthwhile bringing their tools home from their home country and tools can be very expensive i used to buy quality tools all the time DeWalt Bosch and Makita and uh, when I left England I give them all away to people because I'd had to pay duty on bringing them over here to Thailand so I bought all new now I'll do another video with regard to how much tools cost here for what I have got and what I bought and was it a good buy or was it not a good buy? Are the tools here of good quality or not? So that's the shipping container, furniture and things like that. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't bring not enough money to live on. Don't think you can live here as cheap as chips because it's very, very cheap. It is cheap to live here, but you need something. You can't live on nothing over here. And uh, there are plenty of people who had a lot of money to start with, maybe he's sold their property in their home country and had maybe a hundred, couple of hundred thousand pounds and they come and live it up 
in Thailand. And then they think, okay, I'm going to have enough money to buy a house and I'm going to or rent on, th or whatever you, decisions you want to make with the money that you've made from your home country. Now, Thailand is a very cheap place to live, but it can be very expensive. Entertainment and going out, partying, can be very expensive. And then, as I say, if that's all you've got to live on, is that an amount of money, and that's got to do you until, like, for example, you get your pension or you get your... Uh, state pension so maybe it has to do with you for a few years but I've seen people thinking like that and they've run out of money and that's a whole can of worms that you don't want to be having to do is having no money because that does away with your dreams and it does away with your ideal lifestyle so don't bring not enough money to live on. Have a plan how much you're going to need. You know, there's plenty of videos on there. I've done a couple of videos. Living on 35,000 baht a month. Living on 50,000 baht a month. And it's still possible this day to, even though inflation has gone up and, and then a couple of the videos are a couple of years old, or one of them is anyway. But you can still live on that amount of money. I live on 55,000 baht a month, that's my expenditure and it's easy enough to live on that amount of money. So let's see what else, I've done a big list. Okay, living on 50,000 baht, living on 35,000 baht, okay that's the do not bring, what not to bring. And now we'll go on to the what to bring to Thailand. And this is this is a nice one, this one. Dealing with the what to bring to Thailand. It's adventure, it's exciting, it's a new start. So what you need to bring here to start off with is a positive attitude. If you have a positive attitude, excitement and they're willing to change and willing to, to embrace Thailand and the new lifestyle it's going to give you. That's what you need, is a positive mindset. Because this is going to be the place that changes your life. And boy, will it change your life. Some people, it's changed it for the best. Some other people, it hasn't. I'm one of those people, for me, in my mind, it's changed it for the best far, far better than living in England. So, okay. Bring with you your driving license, international driver's license. Without that, you're going to be paying many, many fines. If you drive, there is. If you want to drive your vehicle over here, either a motorbike or a car, you'll get stopped all the time. And if you don't have an international driving license or permit, and you're going to get fined all the time for the sake of going and getting one sorted out. And if you're coming here long term, then you're going to go and get your Thai driver's license anyway. And that, and that can be done. Everything can be done over here with regard to obtaining licenses. But in the meantime, you've got to get the license. And that could take few weeks to a few months so bring your international driver's license medication if you take medication you need a doctor's note or a doctor's letter explaining what medication you're on because some of the heavy duty medication people are on although you can get almost anything over the pharmacy counter here one of my subscribers asked me to get some heavy duty medicines for him and because he, he wants to make sure he can get his medication here in Thailand and we went to three different pharmacies and they all says no you need to go and see a doctor 
for this medication because it's so strong. And they won't give you the medication. This is what the pharmacy told my wife. They won't prescribe the medication because if something happens to you and it comes back to them, that they just give you the medication over the counter, then they're liable for getting into trouble for giving you medication without a doctor's certificate. So have enough medication, go and see a doctor over here because you need a doctor's certificate to be able to get the medication that you want. And then once you've got that medication certificate, you can go to the pharmacies because then you've got the information that the pharmacies require. So that's important for those people that are on medication. It's probably the most important one of me list. The next one is your passport. When you're coming over here to retire or to live here long term, you need more than a year with your passport or a couple of years. So you've got the time and planning and preparation to be able to make sure you've got even just five years on your passport because getting a passport over here, although it's not difficult, difficult, it can create problems to be able to get a passport. So, make sure you've got enough time on your passport. Okay, what else have we got? Yeah, okay, another very important one. Um, when you come over here, you need a list of contacts. What, what if something happens to you? What if you're involved in a road traffic accident or a, you're sick? And if you're not in a relationship, you're just with a, just yourself. At the, at the time, we need a contact list so people can get in touch with the appropriate people. Uh, a living will, so for instance, if you uh, don't want to be resuscitated forever, have a living will. And this tells a doctor that you don't want to be resuscitated. This is if you've got an illness or something like that, or if you've been badly injured and you're just going to be a, a cabbage on a bed. It's important to do that. Important to have a will because of all your family and friends back home. If you don't have a will, that just creates all sorts of problems. So it's a simple enough thing to, to go and get done. But I think it's, it's a procedure that many, many people don't adhere to or they don't think, oh, I'm gonna live forever. It's never gonna to happen to me. Uh, right. Yeah, bring enough cash over here. Bring enough cash so you don't have to use the ATMs. Withdraw your money, because using an ATM can be very expensive. I think 220 baht per withdrawal. So that soon adds up. So open a bank account as soon as you can over here. Now you can open a bank account even with a tourist visa. I've got the some contacts that I can send you to to be able to open a bank account. Now that can cost up to about five and a half thousand baht but the save you the running around unbelievable everybody thinks that you can just go into a bank and open a bank account here. It is getting more and more difficult to be able to do that so there are methods and ways and means of being able to open a bank account and Open a bank account up, it just makes life so much easier. Set up internet banking in your home country before you come to Thailand. So then you can transfer your money internationally because that's what the immigration wants to see on your visa, international transfers. And by doing that, you put things in motion to be able to, you put things in motion to be able to make your life here a lot easier. It's preparation. Preparation and planning prevents poor performance. So you've got time to plan all of these things and I hope this this video is maybe is give you something to th think about with regard to oh yeah I hadn't thought of that, I hadn't thought of that one. And my list isn't exhaustive but the what to bring 
what not to bring the tail on. I hope you found this interesting and uh, it's give you some pause for thought to think oh I hadn't thought about that and uh, you know I'm sure there's a lot more on the list but I, I think them are the important things and them are the things that living here talking to many other people that have come here the faults and what's happened that they haven't got these things sorted out creates a problem and let's face it you come over here to have a new start and uh, the least amount of problems that you have is the better go with the floor have a safe trip to Thailand enjoy your holidays to Thailand and if you're coming here to live here full time it's a wonderful life look at the blue skies we've sort of come to the end of the rainy season now and uh, it's a fantastic lifestyle so if you've got any questions leave them in the comments down below I try to answer all the comments as best as I can and if you want to email me it's I'll put the link below lesliepearson58 at yahoo.com I'll answer all the emails if you've got any questions so watch the rest of my videos enjoy I'm a mind of information living here for over 10 years so until the next time bye for now